Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh shit! <sighs> What's going on, everybody? How is everybody doing? Sorry about that, guys. I'm eating some spicy ass ramen noodles and almost got choked to death over here on them. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Uh, let me go ahead and share out the live stream really quickly. Hey, babe. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Hell no. Okay, yeah, now people really be on fucking crack. Oh, I'm so excited. You can sit wearing the shorts tomorrow. What, what are you excited about? What new outfit? What the hell does that say on it? Says happy, happy. Oh my god. Look at the shirts I've on. So here's their matching shirts. Got Paul mm-hmm. And they look at bright bright. They didn't have any Grayson's, so I was mad. Oh, my God. All right, guys. We are ever so closely to first pitch. First pitch is at 9.42 p.m. See, later on games like this, I'm not going to have any issues with calling because – I can still go over to my grandma's. Rebecca gets off and plenty of time for me to do the game, all that shit, all this shit. So <clears throat> I have no problem calling these games. It's just the 640 starts type shit. Okay, so tomorrow is the 642. I mean, it's 640 start. And then Wednesday, I will not be here to wrap up the game because I'll be at work. But I am going to keep everybody update, uh, updated on the game. And then on Friday, <clears throat> I'll be here Friday, <clears throat> Saturday, and Sunday for all three games between us and the Los Angeles Angels. And then I might be here Monday for the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, Philadelphia Phillies game. But yeah. <laughs> hey yo Johnny, Johnny, no! 
They were way too high of in the air for me. Hell no. <clears throat> All right, guys. We are set to go. It is Jackie Robertson Day. All both teams wearing number 42 um, uniforms in honor for Jackie Robertson. As I will read off the starting lineup in just in a minute. All right, the starting lineup for the Cincinnati Reds is Jonathan India, Will Benson, Christian and the Carcian Strand, Spencer Steer, Jake Fraley, Ella De La Cruz, Jamar Car- Carello, Nick Martini, and Tyler Stevenson. So I don't know who they took out, but Jake Fraley was not in the starting lineup earlier, so they must have removed somebody out of the game so that way – he could start against his own team here. Rebecca! Rebecca! You have the close setting in front of the TV, dude. I can't unmute it. Okay, thank you. All right, as Kirby is the one pitching for the... Um, for the Seattle Mariners as Jonathan Indy is hitting 196 on the year, no home runs, and I think one RBI. <clears throat> that one is swung on and he missed it. Hey, what's up? Long time no see. No balls, two strikes now. That one is swung on and hit foul. <clears throat> All right, no balls, two strikes. Come on, Reds. We need to win this game. That one is outside the zone, and it's one ball, two strikes now. <clears throat> what time is it in Seattle right now? It's 6.44 p.m. in Seattle, Washington. Okay, so yeah, Seattle's three hours behind us. As that one is high and outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. I kind of figured that it was three hours behind, and that's why they have a late-ass start time on these games. All right, two balls, two strikes now to Jonathan India. That one is also outside the zone. Three balls, two strikes. Kirby, uh, to six pitches on the evening. The Reds are at a 3-2 count right now. Jonathan India leading us off here. That one is swung on by India, and he missed it. One out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Cincinnati Reds. Come on, man. <sighs> Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Sweet. Nice to see uh, fans of the other teams in here. I'll be enjoying my commentary, even though I am a Reds fan. As Will Benson is up now, two, he's hitting 220 on the year. Not sure how many home runs or RBIs, if any. No balls, one strike count. Swung on big hack by Will Benson, and he missed it. No balls, two strikes now. What's up to the three people in the chat? How's everybody doing? Guys, make sure you're voting on the poll and you are getting uh, or hitting the like button, excuse me. Make sure you're hitting the like button. It's free and it helps push out the content. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We are an NFL channel, but when no NFL is on, we do call Cincinnati Reds baseball games 
as it is one ball, two strikes. Now that one was a bit to the outside, and it's two balls, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone as well. Three balls, two strikes. Who's that? I don't know if I know who you're talking about. Three balls, two strikes now. And Will Benson calls timeout here on a full count. Wow, I already got five people in here. I did not expect that many people to be up. That one is swung on. Well, Benson rips it in the center field, and he's on with a single. Let's go, baby. Oh, okay, okay, got you. Nice, John. What's up, Daniel? How's it going? I did the Yankee J go Reds. Hell yeah. You did the Yankees and Jays? Wait, Daniel, do you call sports games? Bro, if you do, if I got a mod in here, please link Daniel's channel so people can uh, go check him out. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that, Eric. Um, I don't know too much about any team outside of the Reds, to be honest. I mean, I do know a little bit about like people like the Mariners and Boston Red Sox and shit like that, but I don't know too much about um, any team outside of the Reds. Just gonna be honest with you. That's why my main sport, where I call every team in, is the National Football League because that's my favorite sport um is football so yeah that's what we mainly do here on the channel though so all right it's christian in the cartoon strain is up now he's hitting 185 on the year no balls two strikes uh what's up reds are on fire yeah we are right now as of right now connor let's hope that it stays that way man no balls two strikes That one is outside the zone. That was another really close pitch. Could have went either way. This one is rolled to the outside. One ball, two strikes to Christian and Acarcian Strand. One out, one on, and nobody in here for the Reds. That one is swung on. High fly. It's just going to be caught on in right field. By the first baseman, and that's two out now. One on, and nobody in here for the Reds. Bro, there's seven people in here. I got to be honest with you. With it being a Monday, I did not expect seven people to be in here at almost 10 o'clock at night. Who's the home play umpire? Don't say uh, hang on. Um, if they give the name, I'll let you know. I honestly don't know myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. That one is swung on, and Steer missed it. Will Benson, he's still second base. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Uh, to be honest, Eric, as soon as this top of the first is over, I'll look up who is the home plate umpire for you. Because honestly, I have no idea. That one is outside the strike zone. One ball, two strikes. Kirby is up to 20 pitches on the evening now. Steer is hitting 340 sits on the year. Steer has been the uh, kryptonite for the, the Reds this season. Like, he's been the kryptonite to all the other teams. Um, 
because this man has been single-handedly carrying the Reds. All right, two balls, two strikes now. Oh, my God. Here we go with the dumbass comments. That one is swung on by Spencer Steen, and he hit it up and out of play. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't even know who the hell that guy is either. But given I don't know too many home plate umpires, as that one is a high fly pop-up center field caught on by the second baseman. And that is going to end the inning, folks. As we go to the bottom of the first, the Seattle Mariners are going to be up and have a shot at taking the lead. Frankie Montez, or Montes, however the hell you pronounce his name, is the one pitching for the Reds. So he's done great this season. Let's hope that he can keep it that way. You probably could tell I was at my mom's house with the food I posted. Well, that and Ashley told me that you went home today. So when I was talking to her earlier. So, yeah, I already knew that you was at home, Michael. <clears throat> Bro, the fact that we got eight people in here rocking with us at almost midnight, I mean, at almost 10 o'clock, is kind of amazing. What's up to the eight people in the chat? How's everybody doing? Okay, let me get the stream pulled up on YouTube really quickly on my computer. So that way we can see who is winning. All right, as of right now, we're up to seven votes on the poll. And the Cincinnati Reds are winning 86%, 86% to only 14% for the... Um, Seattle Mariners as the Mariners lineup is J.P. Craw Crawfield. Uh, the, the dude that Eric was talking about, uh, Rodriguez, Julio Rodriguez, and I'll read the rest off in a minute. This is a lot about you, sir. What do you mean? Let's so can go, Reds. Yeah, I know. Adam, let's go, man. All right. Frankie Montez Montes is the one in now as that one is at, in there for a strike. Wow. Okay. JP Craw, uh, Craw, Crawfield is hitting 164 on the year now. That one is swung on and he hit a foul. What do you mean, Eric? I am so confused. Are you talking to me, Eric, or are you talking to somebody in the chat? One ball, two strikes now. That one is outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes now. For anyone just joining us, we're in the bottom of the first Seattle Mariners up. That one is outside the zone as well. Full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Come on, man. What's up to the nine people in the chat? How's everybody doing? That one is outside the strike zone, and he walked him. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, man. What's up, Connor? Why why are you saying why are you saying God? I'm so I'm so confused. Listen, nobody annoyed your comments.
All right, Rodriguez is up now. He's hitting one, uh, 180 sits or 160 sits. Oh, okay, okay, got you, got you. As that one is swung on and hit foul. No balls, two strikes now. Come on, baby. Mm, you're going to get some hate for that one. Guys, you have every right to chew Ashley out for saying that the red suck. As that one is outside, one ball, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, man. What is going on here? Already up to 10 pitches and only up to two batters. My Oh, my God. It's going to be a long night for the Reds. I can already see it now. <clears throat> that one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, two strikes. Full count. Timeout called by the batter. All right, so the Seattle Mariners lost yesterday to the Cubbies. That one is outside the strike zone. Both hitters have got on with walks. What is going on here? Oh, my God. Guys, you can blame this loss on Ashley for what she said in the damn chat, all right? That, that, this is wild, man. We can't even get a fucking out. He's walked literally both batters. Oh, my God. All right, Polanco is up now. He's hitting 190 sits on the year. Two on by walks. Can we please get this guy out? And it's not looking great. That's outside. One ball, no strikes. That one is outside the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Bro, if he fills up the bases, this is about to be terrible. That one is outside the zone. Three balls, no strikes. This home plate umpire is not making it easy for us either. Montaz literally is up to 15 pitches on the evening. That one is in there for a strike. There you go. Come on, freaking Montaz. Three balls, one strike, two on, both by walks, nobody out, and nobody in here to the Seattle Mariners in the bottom of the first for anyone wondering. That one is swung on. That's hacked. It's back there. It's gone. And that's a three-run home run for Polanco. And it's now 3 nothing Seattle Mariners. You've got to be kidding me, man. What a fucking horrible start for Frankie Montaz. Terrible start. Bro, I feel like I'm the Reds kryptonite here, all right? I feel like every time I call a game, we fucking lose. I, I'm being dead ass serious right now, guys. I felt like this for a couple of years now. 
it seems like the less games I call, the more we win. The more I call, the more we lose. All right, as that one is swung on and hit foul, no balls, one strike. Yeah, honestly, John, that's what I'm saying. One ball, one strike as Mitch Hanger, 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 however you pronounce his name, is the one that is in there pitching now. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, one strike. Come on, man. Honestly, Eric, ah, uh, terrible. He's already up to 20 pitches on the evening, and he doesn't even have a fucking strikeout yet. He doesn't even have one out yet, and he's at 21 pitches on the evening. This is just terrible. All right, as Hanger or Anger, I'm not sure if you don't say the H in here, if it's silent or not, but either way, he, he is hitting 264 on the year for the Seattle Mariners. That one is just a defensive swing to keep it going, and it's two balls, two strikes. Oh, okay, it's Han- Henniger. Henniger is how they just pronounced it on television. That one is swung on. High fly. And it's popped out. Still two balls, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Dear Lord, is he even going to make it out of the first inning? That's all I want to know. Is it? Is he even going to make it out of the first inning? This is terrible. All right, sorry about that, guys. I was trying to get the camera angle tightened up here so you guys could see me perfectly. All right, cool. There we go. I feel like you guys could see me better now. All right. And it is three balls, two strikes. Hanniger just keeps on fouling him off here. That one is swung on again and fouled it off again. Frankie Montez is up to 20 sits pitches on the evening. Is someone up inside the pen? As far as I know, Eric, not yet. But it's getting really close to him already having to come out of the game. He's already up to 27 pitches, and he can't even retire this guy. Henniger keeps on fouling the balls off. This is terrible. That one is outside the zone, and he walked in. Oh, my God. Dude, he's going to be over 30 pitches before he even gets his first strikeout. He's already at 28. This is this is absolutely terrible. Yep, 100% agree with him. 100% agree with what you just said there. Yeah, I mean, see, the thing is, is the Reds starting pitching every now and then, like our starting pitching is our most reliable pitching. And every now and then it has shitty times like it's having now. But when you get to the back half of... Um, when you get to the back half of having to bring in our relief pitching or, you know, um, uh, I want to say Alexis Diaz is good, 
But with the way that he's pitched so far to begin this season, it's been really terrible. But, yeah, like our starting pitching, without a doubt, is the most reliable, I feel like. And this is just a terrible performance, man. He's up to 30 pitches and doesn't even have a fucking single out yet. All right, as France, France, something like that is up now. He's hitting 280. That one's a high fly, pop out, one ball, two strikes. Yeah, that's the thing, Eric. He's getting strikes. He just can't strike anybody out. Like, he can't get anybody out, whether that be a strikeout, a pop out, a ground out, whatever you want to say. He cannot get it done. That one's also outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. This is terrible, man. 33 pitches. Or no, 32 pitches, excuse me. And he cannot, he still doesn't even have an out. That one is swung on. That one is an out there and a double play. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Finally, an out. Thank you, gosh. Finally, man. All right, two out, nobody on, and three in here for the Seattle Mariners in the bottom of the first. All right, Count Rowling, I think is how they just pronounced his name, is up now. Cal Rowling is up now. He's hitting 196 on the year, two home runs. And six RBIs. That one's outside. One ball, no strikes. That one's in there. One ball, one strike now. Yeah, I would agree. But it, like I said, all season long, he's been really good for us. But tonight, he's just not having the shit, man. It's terrible pitching. He's already almost at 40 pitches. And he only has two outs, you know, luckily because of that ground ball. That one is outside. Three balls, one strike. Ah, uh, he's going to walk him again. He's going to walk another batter here. That one is swung on. High fly, pop up. That one is out of play. Tyler Stevenson couldn't get to it. Still three balls, or now it's three balls, two strikes. Excuse me, full count. The Chicago Cubs are beating the Arizona Diamondbacks right now one and nothing. That one is swung on and he hit a foul off of his leg, and it's still three balls, two strikes. See, uh, our St. Louis is leading the Oakland or the Las Vegas Athletics right now. Nightmare inning, one hundred percent agree with you. Oh, shit. All right, all right, Eric, hang on. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, Eric, um, thank you for the update. I asked, um, um, don't, don't let me know unless I call it because your shit is way faster than mine. Like, you said that, and then it was like 15 seconds later before I seen the walk. So, yeah. I just I just say it um, because you know we we ask for no spoilers in the chat so that way you know everybody can know when I say it. Unless you know, like people like you, Eric, that's watching the game along watching me is cool, but you know some people are probably not watching the game. So yeah, I'm trying to call it for them as well if that made sense or anything. Not not you know not trying to be mad at you or anything. I'm not mad at all. So. All right, one on, two out. 
And Riley is up now as that one is a bunt down and nobody was even standing there. And he's on. Two on, two outs. Sorry about that. No, she's there. Okay. Good. Good, Eric. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, thanks for thanks for letting me know. You know, I, I had a feeling that he was going to walk him there, but, oh, uh, God, man. It's just a, a terrible inning. There's nothing else to be said outside of what they said. Nightmare inning. Honestly, it really is. He's already up to 41 pitches and still hasn't got out of this inning. As that one is hit foul, and it snowballs one strike. Hello, all. What's up, Ghost? Hey, Ghost, um, if you could, could you link, <clears throat> could you link um, Daniel's channel in the chat so people could go subscribe to him? Because I didn't know, but apparently Daniel calls sports games. That one is swung on, hit up, and maybe Tyler Stevenson. No, nope, he's not going to get there in time. No balls, two strikes. Okay, is it? Forty three pitches on the evening for Frankie Montaz. That one's outside the stride zone. One ball, two strikes now. Question. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. Steer has been our best player all fucking year long. But, you know, I mean, that's a, that's like asking that one is high, fly, and it's caught on in right field, and the nightmare inning is finally over with. Luckily, it wasn't a blowout inning. It wasn't a blowout inning by any means. They're only up by three on us. All right, top of the second coming up now with the Reds due up. We are down by three now after one home run, and it was a three-run home run. Thank you very much, guys, for doing that, bro. I'm bad just showered. Connor, you didn't miss anything outside of the nightmare inning. It's finally fucking over. So, <clears throat> but yeah, like, like I was saying, um, honestly, your question stuns me too about why Steer isn't in the third spot. But honestly, it's David Bell. Are we surprised about it at this point? Like, David Bell is fucking dumber than a bot's a rod sometimes, honestly. There's there's no other way to put it. I mean, are you guys forgetting that we were literally setting, I want to say two, three years ago, I think somewhere is around 2020, 2019, somewhere is around there. We were setting in prime position to make the playoffs. And we had just came back from uh, All-Star break, and we were playing the um, – um Milwaukee Brewers and just because that was the team that way that Wade Miley used to play for or whoever the fuck it was or yeah I think it was Wade Miley or something like that or or something <clears throat> just because it was their birthday he let them come out in the ninth inning to try to get it the last strikeout and he, the Wade Miley gave up a home run and costed us a playoff spot. Like we had to win those games to not be eliminated. And David Bell, just because it was his birthday, came out and yeah. So I, I don't know, man. David Bell just made some stupid ass decisions. Honestly, stupid. So <clears throat> honestly, it doesn't shock me the way that he has the rotation set up. All right. As Jake the Rake Fraley is up now, he's playing his uh, old team for the first time since being traded, I believe. As Jake Fraley is hitting 424 on the year, Kirby's still out there pitching. 
He's up to 24 pitches on the evening now. That one swung on Jake the Rake Fraley and hung in the air too long. And that's an out. One out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds in the top of the second. <clears throat> Thank you, Eric, for subbing to Daniel. All right, as De La Cruz is up now, Ella De La Cruz is hitting 280 sits on the year. That one is in there for a strike. One ball, one strike. Come on, man. Okay, Eric, let's hear it. Yeah, Connor, if you, if you, uh, if you post videos, man, let us know and we'll we'll get your uh, channel out there so people will come and subscribe to you as well. <clears throat> Just let us know. Two balls, one strike now. Two balls, one strike to De La Cruz. That one is outside the zone. Three balls, one strike now. Kirby up to 29 pitches on the evening now. That one is swung on by De La Cruz and hit foul. Three balls, two strikes now, full count. <clears throat> I'm hoping you're right about that. So far, we haven't done shit against him. All right, Kirby, it's a 30 pitches now. That one was fouled off again by De La Cruz. That one's ripped on. Got down by the shortstop, thrown over, got him out. Two out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds. Kirby up to 31 pitches on the evening now. <clears throat> Why? Because the type of pasta that it is, guess what it is? What? Cold pasta. Like grandma's pasta salad that she makes, and it has to be cold. Okay. So I have it in the fridge pulling off right now. Oh, uh, okay. It's almost there. All right. That's two balls, one strike now. Uh, I brought you the... Candelario is up for anyone that didn't know. 182 on the year. It's two balls, one strike. That one is outside the zone. Three balls, one strike. All right, come on, Candelario. He has a great opportunity to hit a ball here. And that's what he absolutely does. That one is blasted. It's out of here! Bye, bye, bye! Candelario with a solo home run. And the Reds are down by two. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. Oh, what the hell?
Let's go, baby. That one is hacked on. Big hack by Nick Martini, but he missed it. No, well, it's two strikes. That's actually hilarious, Eric. What the hell? That is hilarious. All right, Curry is up to almost 40 pitches on the evening, and Nick Martini swung at it. And that's all the Reds are going to get. One, There goes the Reds, but Candelario does get us on the board with a solo home run as we head to the bottom of the second with the score now. Three to one. The Mariners still lead it. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, man. All right, I think they, I, I don't know if you guys can hear the TV or not when I have it playing in the background, but I'm pretty sure they were saying something about the Mariners haven't scored over five points in a single game this season, and the Reds have scored five plus in almost every game we've played in, so... But who knows with the Reds, man. I, I don't know. I feel like the Reds are shaky. All right, guys. We're up to 10 votes on the poll. It's 70% saying that the Reds are going to win to 30% saying that the Mariners are going to win. Okay, let's go. So we got a, quite a bit of Mariner fans in here. You love to see it. Yeah, that's the one that's the one thing that we're gonna need if we're gonna wanna stay in this game. As that one is swung on and hit foul. We were to we need a really quick inning from Frankie Mon Montes here if we're gonna wanna get back in this damn game. That one is outside the strike zone, one ball, one strike. As Josh Rojas is the one up now, he's hitting 346 on the year, no home runs, and three RBIs, one ball, one strike now. That one is outside the strike zone, and it's two balls, one strike. All right, two balls, one strike, come on. That one swung on. High fly out to center field, caught on by Will Benson, I think, is playing center field today. As that is one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners. All right, back to the top of the order as Craw Crawfield is back up. As it is a one ball there strike to him. He walked back in the first and came around on that three run home run. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be Crayfield is maybe how you pronounce his name. One ball, one strike now as that one is in there for a strike. Oh, okay. Okay, Eric. Yeah, they, they said that you guys hadn't scored over five. So you did once. So maybe. Two balls, one strike now. That one is swung on high, fly, pop out. And it's two balls, two strikes now.
Uh, hell yeah, Rich. Hey, Rich, are you joining me and Dad for the draft? That one is and then for a strike. It was a 50-50 call, and Crawfield did not like that call. He is pissed right now, and I don't blame him. I thought it was a little bit outside the plate myself, but nonetheless, it gets called a strike, and that is two out, nobody on, and nobody in here from the Mariners. That one is way outside the zone, almost hit the batter. As Rodriguez is back up now, one ball, no strikes. Let's go, guys. I have 11 people in here at after midnight. I mean, after 10 o'clock. I don't know why the fuck I keep on saying after midnight. To have 11 people in here after 10 o'clock at night is insane. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. What's up, Cincinnati? What's up, brother? That one swung on by Rodriguez. Got on by Candelario. Thrown over. Got him out. That's the inning the Reds needed, baby. A one, two, three inning for the Seattle Mariners. And the Reds got an opportunity. We're still only down by two after that inning. What a bounce back. What a bounce back by Frankie Montaz there. Good shit. Yeah, honestly, yeah, dude, he seems like he is a really good player. Like, he knows how to hold off on a lot of fucking swings and shit, so. He was heated there for a minute. Okay, I got to be honest. Those with a water in them, if you let that set too long, the fucking noodles get all weird and fucking soggy. It's not even good anymore. Boom. Hell yeah. Let's go, Cincinnati. That's the inning that we needed right there. We needed a one, two, three inning, especially after that nightmare beginning of the bottom of the first, man. That was terrible. Let's go. Thank you guys for all the lights. We're already up to seven lights. Guys, keep on making sure to smack that like button. It's free. And it helps push out the content. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe as well. As we are an NFL channel. But when there's no NFL on, we do call Cincinnati Reds baseball games. All right, Tyler Stevenson is up now. Kirby's still out there pitching. Tyler Stevenson straight to the shortstop. Don't know where it got him out. Oh, you hate to see it. That was a really quick out. Come on, man. All right, one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds. Kirby still in there pitching. He's up to 40 pitches on the evening now. All right, back to the top of the order for the Reds as Jonathan India is up. That one. Oh, man. Wow. That's the same exact spot that Frankie just got the strike three on JP earlier. And this one's called a ball. Wow. Okay, now that one's a bit outside the plate. And that one's called a strike. One ball, one strike. All right, I can see it now. It seems like this home plate umpire is going to be a bit inconsistent with his pitches here. That one is outside the zone. Two balls, one strike now.
That one is outside the strike zone. Three balls, one strike. Come on, Jonathan India. He got a great opportunity to hit something here. That one is swung on and he hit it foul. Three balls, two strikes, full count. That one is swung on, and he missed it. Two out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Reds. So we were asking for a great inning. Got that, but the Reds aren't doing shit here in the top of the third. Uh, Ghost, by the way, I got your text. And, yeah, I'm uh, open whenever you want to join, brother. Just let me know. Shit, do you want to join for this game as well? Benson is up now. That one is too high. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, Will Benson is a beast, man. As that one is hit foul by Will Benson. One ball, one strike. That one is one ball, two strikes now to Will Benson. Come on, man. Kirby up to 49 pitches on the evening. Yeah, honestly, Cincinnati, he is. And as soon as I say he is, and agree with you there, Cincinnati. He swings at one way outside the strike zone to end the fucking inning. Like, are you kidding me, Will Benson? Why would you have swung at that? That was down in the fucking dirt, man. Oh, what a terrible inning for the Reds. They go one, two, three, and that is so terrible. All right, well, now we need another great inning of pitching here. All right, I'm guessing with I'm guessing with this damn comment, Eric, you already knew that we struck out and it was a one, two, three inning. Damn you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, what a terrible inning for the rides, man. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah. Uh, terrible inning for the Reds, man. Now we just need to have another good inning of pitching. What do you think about Tyler Stevenson? Honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, I like him as a catcher, but hitting, I don't know. Honestly, he's too inconsistent for me. One day he's really good, and the next it's like he's okay, to be honest. I really wish Cincinnati would have just, you know, stopped giving the boot to all the older players and just said, fuck it, and paid Tucker Barnhart. Honestly, I love Tuck. Tucker Barnhart was so good. All right, Polanco's up now, and luckily there's nobody on bases for him to hit a fucking other home run on us. Uh, he was the one that hit a three-run home run, and it's no ball, it's one strike to him. That one is swung on. Luckily, that goes foul. Otherwise, that would have been another fucking home run. Oh, my goodness, man. No balls, two strikes. That one is outside the strike zone. One ball, two strikes.
Yeah, that's true, Gus. He does. I agree with that. Two balls, two strikes. All right, two balls, two strikes. That one is swung on and hit foul. As Mont Montes, Frankie Mont Montez, in Montes, however how you pronounce his name, is up to 52 pitches on the evening. I tested it. Yeah, I seen it. I seen your test go. So I'm down for whenever you want to join. Do you want to join at some point in time during this game? Just let me know. Whenever you want to join, just hit me up and say, shit, I'm going to call the game with you. So I'll also be doing tomorrow night's game as well. So, all right, three balls, two strikes now. That one is outside the stone, and he walked him. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that Cincinnati, and when I seen it, it made me laugh the same way that it made you laugh, and it made me almost piss myself. That was so hilarious. I joined now, but only for a few. All right, okay, okay, hang on, Gus. Uh, right after this inning, I will send you the link so you can join. I got to send it to you on uh, Facebook, though. Is that to 64 pitches? He's actually at 65 now, yes. Terrible. That one is swung on. Big hack. It's back there. That one is off the ground, over the wall. Wait, are they ruling it a home run? Bro, it's a two-run home run. No fucking way. I'm almost for certain that that bounced off the ground. Bro, that is insane. Yeah, we've lost this, guys. We've lost this game. It's fucking five to one. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me see here. No, it never hit the ground. That's an indefinite home run. Oh, my God. Frankie Montaz, man, has just had a shit day. And only in the bottom of the third, we're already taking him out. All right. Well, this game is over for the Reds. We're already turning to our bullpen in the bottom of the third. Do you understand how, how terrible this is for the Reds? Our relief pitching is fucking ass. And we all should know this by now. This game is indefinitely over for the Reds, man. All right, uh, Ghost, I'm going to send you the link right now. And I'm going to send it to you on Facebook. Yeah, where the hell are you at? I know I got you as a friend on here. Yeah, no, that's not you. What the fuck?
Yeah, honestly, I agree with that. All right, Nick Martinez is up now pitching for the Reds. Okay, hang on, Gus. I'll have to send it to you in a minute. For some reason, I can't find you on Facebook right now. It's super weird. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, honestly, I agree. It is. It is Cincinnati. I sent you a message on Facebook. Okay, hang on. Okay, there you are. Okay, for some reason, it wasn't pulling you up. And I was looking through, and I was like, okay, I know I'm friends with him, as that was almost a disaster between um, between Jonathan India and Christian and Akarski on Strand there. Luckily, Jonathan India makes the catch. One out, nobody on, and two in here for the Seattle Mariners. Five to one. The Seattle Mariners lead it right now over the Reds. Okay, Gus, I got you. I'm going to send it to you as soon as this inning is over. As Cal Rahel, Rahel, however the hell you pronounce that guy's name, he's up now, and it is one ball, no strikes. That one is swung on on a nice change up there. One ball, one strike now. Come on, Nick Martinez, man. We need you for a handful of innings if we're even going to make a chance on coming back. That one is swung on and hit foul. One ball, two strikes now. Yeah, honestly, I I, I do too, honestly. I think Nick Martinez is, is for sure one of our better um, relief pitchers. That one is swung on. High fly, pop-up, steer coming in. He caught it. That's two out. Two out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners. I mean, two out, nobody on, and two in. Excuse me. Who? what is That one is hit foul by Riley, and it snowballs one strike. Our bullpen just has has been bad for a while now. Yeah, honestly, Cincinnati, it really has. That one is hit foul. No balls, two strikes. Oh, dude, we have to win this game. We're in prime position of maybe taking first place in the Central. The Milwaukee Brewers just lost today. It's actually pretty good. Can you taste everything? Pepperonis, the salami, yeah. the cheese, the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Can you taste the dressing? Yes. That one is swung on outside the strike zone. And that's the inning we needed from Nick Martinez. Let's go, baby. Good shit right there. All right, top of the fourth coming up. The Reds, unfortunately, are down by a shitload now. We're down by four to be a debt. All right, listen, guys. All right, Jeff is going to be joining us. He is a Red Sox fan, but don't give him too much hatred, you know. (laughs) Ah! All right, there we go, Jeff. I there we go. I sent it to you. I don't even know if y'all know who Jeff is. I think the last time our bullpen was decent was back in.
Oh, okay, got you, got you, Cincinnati. Yeah, I don't even know if I was alive back in those days. When was that? Maybe I was and I just didn't watch too much baseball because I have no idea who the hell that is. Hey Eric, did you did you all at least win the fucking series against the Cubs? Cause we definitely needed y'all to win that. I hope you're right about that. All right, Christian and Akatsi on strand. He ripped it in there to left field. He's coming around. And he's in there with a stand-up double. Let's go, baby. What's up? There we go. Oh, What's up, is. dude? Nothing much. What's up, bro? Go Reds. Uh, I'm hoping we're fucking down large right now. So. Hey, it's only the fourth inning. Down five to one. Yeah, you got to think of it this way. I mean, the Seattle Manners, they were predicted to be a good team this year. I mean, they're a solid team. They're just yeah. having pitching woes right now. Steers up now, and that one's in there for a strike. No balls, one strike. Okay, so I was I was alive then. I I was fucking. I want to say a fucking teenager at that time. Yeah, I just didn't watch baseball back then. That one Keep swung it. on. Steer grabbed on by the third baseman, thrown over, got him out. Fuck, come on, Steer, man. He's been so massive for us this year, but he's already 0 for 2 on the evening tonight. Got to remember, the Reds are a young core group of players, and they're coming together. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. Kirby's up to 53 pitches. One Friday, lost Saturday, and sadly, for you all, lost the yesterday. One thing I wish the, <laughs> the one thing I wish the Reds did is keep Luis Castillo. Yeah, that that's the one that we, that we should have done. But you That would have anchored your rotation because of the experience. Dude. I mean, Jeff, you should know this because baseball is your favorite sport, but that's just how the Reds are. Is they're too good? Our management looks at them and goes, and eh, they're too good to be a part of the Reds. Let's fucking trade them. And I'm like, how are you going to trade all of our good fucking players, but you expect us to make the fucking playoffs? Well, the Doesn't Oakland A's have done it for years. Yeah, but they've never made the damn playoffs. In the early 2000s, absolutely they did. Oh, he got on. That was just a secure bunt there. And the Reds got one in. Jake Fraley. Let's go, baby. Jake Fraley just with a secured run. Nice. A secure hit See? there. He was trying to keep it from hitting him. And he somehow lined it into left field. Let's go, baby. And you just got done saying 10 minutes ago that the Reds are done. They're not done. <laughs> This team yeah. knows how to put up offensive numbers. It's the pitching that makes you scratch your head. Good thing Nick Laboto is back. He had a good out in the other day, even though I gave you crap on it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, dude, I, I feel like with Nick in there now, I, I don't even think Jake Fraley, uh, he even surprised himself getting that hit down there. He He looked over and went, wow. Come on, come on, don't catch that, don't catch that. Fuck, come on, De La Cruz, man. Are you actually fucking kidding me? The whole fucking, oh my God, dude. I'm just going to have to fit that in a moment. Hang on, let me turn that off real quick. All right, fuck it, I'm going to have to fit, refit that in a minute, guys. All right. Anyways, it's two out, one on now, and Candelario is back up now. He hit a solo home run. To put the score on first. If he hits one here, we're going to be down by one. Did 
That one is in there for a strike. No balls, one strike. No, I agree, Cincinnati. Yeah, we we have a really good farm system, but it's just our pitching, man, is so ass. It's the way it's been for yeah, years. Eric, uh, Jeff knows a lot about baseball, but this is his favorite sport. So, you know what's funny? This is the first year I'm not doing fantasy baseball. Really? I'm doing fantasy baseball, but it's in a random ass league with just random people in it. So I'm like not even giving a fuck to keep up with my team. We won't talk about fantasy baseball, uh, football this year. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, you know, this rookie kind of came into your league and kind of took things over until he realized it wasn't the playoffs. That it was the playoffs. <laughs> Oh my god. That one is down outside the I was zone. So bummed one on ball, that. two strikes. Bro, you can't let that get you down if that's the reason why you're not playing. If there's any questions, you know, um read off the chat because if I close the browser to read off chat, I end up losing you. Okay, yeah, I will. Jake Fraley still third base. Wait, what the hell's going on here? Jake Fraley stole a base? Bro, he got called safe and then somehow got called out. So the inning's over. What the fuck? Hang on. There's no replay to New York on that one? Bro, you've got to be kidding me. Are you fucking serious? He stole the bag, but then fell over, lost his footing, fell over, the tag. I came off the bag, and they had the tag on him, inning over. Are you kidding me right now? That is some bullshit. Yeah, I know, Eric. I just seen that. Damn it. He was pushed off the bat. No, he wasn't pushed off the bag. He fell off of it himself trying to slide in there. Well, I'll be damned. Fell off the bat. I know, right? <laughs> That's some bullshit, bro. How the fuck? I guess, I guess he lost his footing there. Oh, my God, man. It's unreal. That That's the shit that always be happening to the Reds, though. You know, it doesn't shock me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that out because I already know it's not going to work unless I fucking completely rebuild this bitch. Oh, luckily I already have everything saved. Can I just touch your goatee? Uh, Sarah, why would you want to do that? Because you would feel my hands. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, just say it. Shut the hell up, ghost. <laughs> hey, I'm not giving you that satisfaction while you're in here, all right? <laughs> you know, when you create yourself some merch, you should have a shirt that says, shut the hell up, ghost. <laughs> hey, that would fit in perfectly. That would. I would buy a coffee mug that says, shut the hell up, ghost. Would you really? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Oh, shit. And yes, everybody, I'm having some drinks. All right. Hang on, guys. I almost got this fucking shit rebuilt. Uh, take the timer off. Timeouts possession on. Okay, what are we in here? The bottom of the forest. What'd you say? I'm just being a smart ass dude. As long as the Reds get it together. It's only five to two, man. Yeah. Fourth inning.
five two and okay hang on let me go add the fucking share back on share screen there share oh okay there we go well we're doing this intermission make sure you guys sub and like the channel if you're new here and rub that like button let's get him in the other rhythm thank you very much sir for that <clears throat> all right as it is one hour nobody on and nobody in here for the seattle mariners sorry about that guys had to rebuild the whole freaking scoreboard over there anyways we got that taken out care of as Rajay is up now as it is one ball no strikes that one is swung on and he had a foul one ball one strike now Oh, what a catch by De La Cruz. That's how we got the first out. De La Cruz with a nice slide out there in left field. Made the catch. And I have an idea to stabilize out. your uh, bullpen. What's up? Red Sox. They've been trying to get rid of a closer because of the money. I know you guys already have a really good closer, but can you imagine having Kenley Jensen as your setup guy? That right there would stabilize your bullpen. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, Gus, you're going to like this one. So Connor said that he just smashed that like, and then Cincinnati <laughs> said, I hit that like button like a two-seam fastball in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cincinnati. You guys are awesome. <laughs> but no, I'm serious. You guys could use a Kenley Jensen. It would be you guys would be taken on the money, but you wouldn't be giving up hardcore <laughs> prospects for him because it would be a salary dump. Is he on the trade block? He's been on the trade block since prior, beginning of the season. Ever re-sign a even re-signing a pitcher is a problem for the Reds. Honestly, John, I agree with that, man. All right, I believe we're back to the top of the order now for the Seattle Mariners. We are as Crayfield or Crawford, however the fuck you pronounce his name is up now. No balls, one strike. That one swung on and he hit it foul. No balls, two strikes. Do you like my butt chin? I'm going to have to go watch some tape on Jensen because I don't think I've ever seen it. What What is he, a relief pitcher? You You don't know Jensen? He was, uh, he was with the uh, Dodgers for the longest time. He just he, not he a um, relief pitcher. Oh yeah, he's on one. He he's getting up there on the all time saves list. Okay, so is he a closer? Yeah, he's a closer. Okay, okay. But again, I know you guys have what is it, Garcia? Uh, uh-uh, we have uh, uh um, Alexis Diaz. Diaz, Diaz, yeah, yeah, the brother. That one is swung on, and he missed it. Another great fucking inning from Nick Martinez. Let's go, baby. Good Nick, shit, Nick Martinez. You know, Nick Martinez reminds me of a Nick Pavetta. Some similarities. He can do relief role, and he can do a starter role. Yeah. And that's what's best for him. You put him as a straight-up starter pitcher all season long, He's going to disappoint you. But if you put him in certain positions, that guy is going to shine for you. So I know you say your bullpen's junk. You actually have a lot of resources in your bullpen. They just got to come together and stabilize themselves. Okay, Eric. Nice. You and you and Gus sound like y'all know your baseball shit. I don't know too much about baseball. I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you. You're good with the Reds. 
just the outside of things. I mean, I'm not a baseball guru by all means. I can't tell you, you know, certain percentages and whiff rates and all that <laughs> other stuff. I don't pay attention to that. I'm still old school. Give me ERA. Give me uh, ERAs and all that stuff. On base percentage, I'm good with. <laughs> See, I don't keep up with any of that shit. You know, like some yeah. guy mentioned, I can't remember who it was in your chat earlier. They dumped um, the starting pitcher that's on Seattle right now. And he's having a terrible start to the season. And I know myself as a fantasy baseball person. I'm impatient. Yeah. If somebody has a couple bad starts or they're starting off slow and there's somebody that has a hot streak going on, I'm going to drop them. I don't care if they're let's say Manny Ramirez and they have a good track record. I'm going to drop them and grab somebody else. So I'm yeah. very impatient, but when it comes to George Kirby, he's had a couple good, decent, solid seasons. I'd probably keep him through May. And if he's still dogging, yeah, I would drop him. But at this point I would not drop him. You well, know, everyone's it, hanging in the air too long as Ken Delario is out. Shit. All right, Ghost, um, you got a question from Eric. He wants to know what your opinion is on Tan uh, Tanner. Tanner Houck? Yeah. He, he's, oh, God. He's a nail-biter pitcher. You know, there's a lot of upside to Tanner Houck. He's been around for a while. The problem is, every year it's, oh, he's going to. Martini. <laughs> hey, well, he's all right now. One ball, no strikes. You know, every season it's, oh, this is going to be his breakout. This is going to be his breakout. He's more like a mid-relief pitcher to me. You know, no, he doesn't belong in the starting rotation. He might be like a starter for the Tampa Bay R Rays or something. But He said, um, he said, uh, he said, not good, question mark. That one is popped way up. Come on, man. And that is out. Two out, nobody on, and nobody in here. But, yeah, as a Boston fan, I'm not high on ta Tanner. And, yes, I'm a Boston fan, but at the same time, I'm going to tell you right now, the Red Sox, what they're doing, they suck. <laughs> Kirby is still in there pitching. He's at 65 pitches on the evening now as Tyler Stevenson is up. And it is no balls, one strike. Okay, Gus, I got to be honest with you. So we were all talking about Tyler Stevenson earlier. Yeah. One of the things I do not like about Tyler Stevenson compared to Tucker Barnhart, Tyler Stevenson will watch the balls that's thrown down Broadway and will not swing at them. Ta uh, Tucker Barnhart, you never seen him do that. He always swung at shit right down the middle. You know, it's all about the peripherals. You know, does he have a good zone? Can he communicate with his pitchers? You know, does he, does he have good metrics de defensively? You yeah. know, those type of catchers, they can be a game changer, even though if they're not great offensively. But if you look at Stevenson, eh, He's kind of middle of the pack, but you know, if you want to go back to the old school uh, base percentage, he had. I don't think he's ever had a season that's under two, uh, three hundred as an on base percentage. Yes, it's a small sample size because I don't think he's ever got more than two hundred at bats in the season. But overall, yeah. you know, if he wasn't a backup catcher, if you put him in. He does have a good home run ratio. He does have a good on base percentage, but how does pitchers respond to him? You know, does he have good yeah. defensive metrics too? Yeah, and, and it's weird because I think some of the pitchers feel more comfortable with him, and then some of them feel more comfortable with Matt with Mally because we sub both of them in and out. So. Yeah, so there you go. So, I mean, overall, offensively, if you look at the numbers, he's he's actually decent, even though yeah. he might be a nail-biter to you. But if you look at the overall metrics, he's well, decent. He's right. But can yeah. he, you know, win a game for you? Can he call a good game for a pitcher? You know? 
Uh, John, with Nick Lodolo back, I think we got a pretty good starting rotation. It's just I don't know how I feel about our relief pitchers. I've, I've constantly said it over the last two years now since I've been calling baseball games. I feel like our starters is solid. Our relief is where it kind of gets scary. And people like Nick Martinez is where I'm kind of feeling comfortable with because you know, Nick Martinez is one of the better relief pitchers we've had in a while, and that one is swung on by Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson doesn't agree with it, and he is out. So some of these some of these batters are not liking the calls by this home blade umpire tonight, and they're over here arguing with him. So who do you got? Angel Martinez calling the games? <laughs> uh no. I don't think so, no. <laughs> That is one ump that's still in the game that should not be in the game. Stevenson is too big to be a home hunter. Oh, well, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. No, nobody, nobody, you know, is is saying to be a slap hitter or anything by any means. But at the same time, is like what I'm saying is like is like. She will be thrown down straight down the middle of the plate, and he'll just sit there and watch it. I, I don't know. Wait, Cincinnati, is that who is actually the home plate umpire tonight? Cincinnati <laughs> says that it is Angel Hernandez. Oh, it, God, why did I say Martinez? Yeah, oh, my God, he's horrible when it comes to a strike zone. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Cincinnati was saying that it's Angel Hernandez. Thank you, Sins. Yeah. Well, no wonder you're getting those calls. No, that that's not who the home plate umpire is. Oh, think, okay. I'm sorry. I think Eric was told us earlier who it was. It's some dude that we don't know of too much. Hang on, I'll go back up and try to find who he said it well, was. Well, at least it's not uh, Angel. Might be his brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you never know. It might be. <clears throat> All right. So the uh, calendar for the Reds, we got three games against the Mariners and then three games against the, against, uh, the Angels. And then I'm not sure who the FUD's up after that. That one is swung on way down in the dirt and he missed it as Rodriguez is back up. He's 0 for 1 in the evening with a walk back in the first. Later came around to score. You know, the Angels are going to be a tough opponent, even though they lost, lost a Shohei. Yeah. And they have no starting pitching. But for some reason, they're getting the job done at the beginning of the season. Mike Trout is on fire right now. I don't know if you know that or not. Hey, until he, but he, You know what? Actually, in the last series against the Red Sox, they shut him out. This is the inning that will decide the game for the Reds. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. We got to have another shutdown inning here. As Rodriguez calls timeout there, and it's one ball, two strikes to him. Nick Martinez is up to twenty nine pitches on the evening. I the the thing that the thing that I noticed about Nick Martinez the first time I saw him pitch goes is normally relief pitchers can only go. An inning and a half to two innings, especially playing in the red system. But Nick Martinez, last time I seen him, he went like four and a half, five innings. And I was like, holy shit, that is not typically what you see from a relief pitcher. Well, that's why I compared him to uh, Nick Pavetta, because he can do that multi inning role. You know, he could Got be a spot for go. you. And then as well as he could be, you know, a long relief for you too. Yeah. You know, he is a dime in a dozen, but I wouldn't put him as a solid starter for an entire season unless if you lost a few people from your rotation. Connor said, well, I'm out for tonight. Hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow for game two. Good night, everyone. Good night, Connor. Later, bro. Good night, Connor.
All right, as Polanco is back up and he's one for one on the evening still. I think he walked the last time he was out. No balls, one strike to him. Martinez is up to 32 pitches. That one nice pitch, bottom of the zone. No balls, two strikes now. Hey, by the way, did you guys ever close on that house? Uh, no, we ended up not getting it. Oh, sorry to hear that. Sorry, I've been wanting to ask you when I've been forgetting. I just re recall it. Yeah, no, we uh that they were wanting two hundred nine thousand for the house, and we only got approved for one hundred forty seven thousand. So they would have had to knock off like sixty thousand. Yeah, I get they were going to do that. So we started looking at places that was in our um, budget range of the one hundred forty seven thousand and. There was no houses within that price range, so we just backed out of everything. Yeah, the market sucks right now yeah. for wherever you live. Yeah. As that one is, outside the zone, two balls, two strikes. Martinez up to 36 pitches on the evening now. For anyone just joining us, one out, nobody on, and nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners in the bottom of the fifth. That one is swung on. Grabbed on by Jonathan Indy over at second base. Throws it over. Got him out. Nicely done there. Two out. Nobody on and nobody in here. I will add for the Reds, I'm glad they kept India. I know he was on the trade block during the offseason. Yeah. But, um, you know, they had a lot of infielders, and there was potentially no place for India. But given I mean, his experience – yeah. And being around, they needed that person. Right and on. Shortstop throws it over. Got him out. Nice work again from Nick Martinez. A one, two, three inning once again. Bada bing, bada boom. And we are heading to the top of the set. Still two to five. Seattle Mariners leading it. Um, but no, I agree with you, Ghost. Um, the thing it, about that whole thing with India and the offseason was I was hearing – Keeping India was huge. I agree with that, Cincinnati. But listen, y'all got to hear me out here, all right? I was hearing that we were going to use India as a, you know, bait for a team that needed an infielder, like a second baseman or, or a shortstop or something like that, and be like, hey, man, you give us one of your really, really good starting pitchers or relief pitchers. And we'll send you Jonathan India. Like, we, we weren't just going to give him up for a chump-ass bag. Like, we wanted someone that was actually worthy of trading him for. So, if we could have got that, I wouldn't have been mad if they would have traded India. But at the same time, teams are like, yeah, no, we're not going to give you one of our best starting or relief pitchers for Jonathan India. So the Reds did the right thing and backed out of it and said, well, fuck you. We'll keep Jonathan India then. Well, the White Sox did the same thing. Then they end up letting, um, what the fuck is his name? You know, go for just about a bag of balls. But I wouldn't put it that way. But, um, you know, I totally get it because he's a solid second baseman or yeah. multiple uh, position. Huh? But look what the Braves got from the Reds. Because actually, India was with um, rumors with the Boston Red Sox because we needed a second baseman. But Red Sox didn't want to give up their prospects. Who the hell was y'all even going to give us for him? I don't recall what some of the stories were, but there were rumors of Red Sox being interested. But at the end of the day, we gave up Chris Sale to um, Atlanta and look what Chris Sale's doing over there right now. Mm -hmm. I would have done that in a heartbeat as a one-for-one -one trade. Maybe some cash behind it. All right. Jonathan India is up now. One ball, one strike to him to lead off the top of the sits. I mean, can you that imagine Chris Sale anchoring your rotation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, I, I I honestly thought that he was one of y'all's best pitchers, so I don't understand why you even traded him in the first place. But He was, but he's injury prone. 
Well, yeah, that's true. But who isn't these days? Every single day you log on to, let's say, MLB.com, there's always a starter that's going down now on Tommy John surgery. Yeah. And what sucks is... We just lost Antone to a fucking... um, I don't think it was a Tommy John, but um, something about he tore some kind of bone off of his elbow or some shit, and he's out for a season now, so... Yeah, it's all about the metrics right now. You know, the spin rates, the whole nine yards. I mean, yeah. you go back into the early 1900s, these guys were pitching 50, 60 games a season, if not more. Shit, just a pop out there for Jonathan India, and that's one out, nobody on, nobody in here for the Reds. <laughs> and they never had these issues. And then now we got guys pitching five innings, four innings, and they're getting Tommy John surgery. The metrics is ruining baseball. Yep. Let the guys just pitch. Kirby is still in here pitching for the Seattle Mariners. He's up to 79 pitches now. As well, Benson, big hack, but he hits a foul. No balls, one strike. Will Benson, I I, I got to tell you, guys, all right? Will Benson has been his story because he kept on coming up from Triple A, then going back down to Triple A, up, tri- up from Triple A, back down to Triple A, and then eventually we brought him up. And at first when he came up, he stunk. I was like, oh, man, what the hell is up with this guy? And then out of nowhere, Will Benson just caught fire. And now he's like one of the best rotational players that the Reds have in our rotation. So. No, absolutely. I mean, we had this conversation last season when I picked him Bro, up on that's one a league. Shit ass call, man. Uh, that was bottom of the zone. I don't think that got in there, but they call strike three, and Will Benson is out. So, but again, I was just saying we had this conversation last season. You know, I picked him up on my fantasy team. You know, he was hot. You know, I had three or four players that helped me out from the Reds. You know, like yeah. Jake Greeley, Will Benson. You know, I was just riding the boat. And, well, people were not picking up these players. Will Benson kind of reminds me of uh, Andrew Vaughn from the Chicago White Sox. You know, solid player. Yeah. Doesn't stand out, but very solid player overall. He's not going to give you the 40 home runs a season. You know, he, he's going to give you... Swings at one outside the zone. No balls, two strikes. Come on, man. At his best, he's going to give you 15, maybe 20 home runs. Who, maybe, Will Benson? Yeah, maybe a dozen stolen bases. But that's a solid... Oh, yeah, he's really good point. at stealing bases. Yeah. You know, that he's very solid overall. He knows how to play the game of baseball. Yeah, that one is swung on and hit up and out of play. Uh, apparently, they're getting Tommy John surgeries and high school ball as well now. Oh, yeah, they are. I did not that, know that. I'm I'm learning a lot of shit here tonight. Yeah, no, that's why I blame the metrics of baseball. That one is swung on and hit in there to left field by Christian and the Carcion Strand, and he is up. I believe to second base with a stand up double there. Let's go, baby. Way to keep the inning alive. It's Let's unfortunate, go. but baseball is all about stats these days. It's not about trying to win the game. It's how many bases you can steal. What are your spin rates like? How can you, what is your launch angle at? You know, it's just. Yeah. It sucks, but it's been since the early 2000s. You know, once on base percentage was produced, everybody, you know, all these math guys were like, well, what's the next thing that we can do to stand out to produce yeah. metrics? Cincinnati said, yes, it's all about home runs and nobody looks for grass. Yeah. Look at the late 1990s. You know, when you had Sosa McGuire just hitting bombs all over the place. And then all of a sudden, after the steroid era, that's when the metrics started coming out. 
all right, how can we make things better? They came out with on base percentage. Then it came out with that. Then it came out with that. Spencer Steer is up. He's 0 for 2 in the evening. One on, two out. Nobody in here for the Reds. Come on, Spencer Steer. All we need is one home run, and we're right back in this thing as that one is in there for a strike. One ball, one strike. Come on, man. All right, Brandon. It was a good time tonight. I stayed on a little bit longer than I wanted to. I'll join the chat, but I'm going to take my uh, little edible and before I get stupid, this is probably the best time for me to close out because at least I've been uh, solid tonight because you heard me at my st stupid state before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what makes you ghost, all right? It does. It does. At least those common mellow for once. But I'm going to sign out. I'll hit up the chat here for a little bit. And uh, thanks for uh, inviting me. And, you know, we'll do this quite a few more times this season. Hell yeah, brother. All right, later, man. All right, piece of chicken grease, and remember, never eat a girl's yeast. Oh, oh my God. Good, goodbye, Sam. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Ghost. <laughs> there it is. Hopefully, Ghost heard it. All right, guys, we're heading to the bottom of the sixth. You know, we always got to hit Ghost with a shut the hell up, Ghost. He loves the saying, you know. Haha, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I think my uh, went. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> and guys, we always gotta hit you with that, you know, last second. Ah, oh, hell yeah, there it is. Shut the hell up, goes. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see it. You honestly do. You love to see it. Hello, Rebecca. What's up? All right. We're heading to the bottom of the sixth with the score still two to five. The Reds are down, man. Uh, Spencer Steers getting good hacks, but he's just not hitting it in play. Like he hit it and it went out to center field and got caught on. So, that pasta was good. Yeah, it is pretty good, to be honest. Hope y'all enjoy the duo uh, so we can make it happen more. Hell yeah. It seemed like everybody was giving positive vibes about it, guess, to be honest. And it was really good having you up here because, honestly, I don't know that much about baseball. And I feel like you know way more than I do. So yeah, it was it was really really fun to have you up here. All right, as Nick Martinez is still out here for the bottom of the sixth, as it's no balls, one strike, big hack, and he missed it. As that one is swung on, and he ripped it in there to left field. The left fielder is having to come over from a long ways. He's just now picking up the ball, and. He is going to get in there with a stand-up triple. Oh, no, it's a stand-up double. Okay. Wow, I thought he had enough time to get all the way over to third base, but apparently not. All right, Cal Rahai, Rahal, however the hell you pronounce the name is up now. He's oh for one. That one's hacked on. It drops in. And that might bring a run around. No, it's just going to move the runner up to third base. Two on, nobody out. And Nick Martinez is good night. Might be coming to an end here, guys. Which really sucks to say. Because outside of Nick Martinez, I don't know how much more relief pitching we have. You know what? 
Shut the hell up, ghost. All right. I feel like every time you have that channel in here now, I'm just going to have to say it. Yeah, we're going to go to our first Reds game, I think, in May. Which is in just about a week or so. Take care, everyone. Go Reds. Please hit that like button. I know I did. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Guys, if you're leaving the chat, don't forget we will be back tomorrow for game two. So I hope to see you guys in there as well. As this one is swung on, high fly. Jonathan India comes on, grabbed it, and he's going to hold the runner at third base. Great job, India. Let's go, baby. All right, that is one out, two on, and nobody in here. Is that your wedding getaway Reds game? Hey, honestly, I think it would be. If we if we had to pick something that we would want to do for our honeymoon, it would be to go to a Reds game. <laughs> that one is swung on, but hit foul. As it is no balls, one strike now. As France is over there at third base, and I'm not sure who's on at first base, as it is one ball, one strike now. I know, Cincinnati, and I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go, I think our first game this year is going to be on a Friday night. I think it's May 3rd um, versus the Baltimore Oreos at Great American Ballpark. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I think that's going to be our first game. One ball, two strikes now. That one is swung on, and it lines it in there. He lined it in there. What a shot just out of the reach of um, De La Cruz's glove, and it sits to two. Yeah, I think this one is just about over for the Reds, man. He unfortunately didn't. I mean, only one run isn't bad so far, but he there's only one out with two on. One out, two on, and one in here for the Seattle Mariners in the bottom of the sits. Now sits to two is the score. Reds are down. That one is outside the zone. As Josh Rajay is up now, he's 0 for 2 on the evening. One ball, no strikes. That one is swung on. High fly, and they're not going to be able to get to it. It went foul. Spencer Steer was coming in very quickly, but not quick enough to get to it as it drops foul. One ball, one strike now. All right, come on, boys. That one is outside the zone. Two balls, one strike now. That one's outside the zone. Three balls, one strike. That one is swung on foul, and it remain, or actually, it's going to move to three balls, two strikes now. That one is swung on. 
That's just a pop-up. Third baseman caught it. Let's go. Candelario with a catch there. And that's two out, two on, and one in here. If Nick Martinez gets out of this inning with only allowing one run, I'm cool with that. Okay, I was putting way too much effort into his last name. It's J.P. Crawford. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I I was... uh, See, okay. See, some of these damn names are hard for me to pronounce. Sorry about that, guys. I put way too much effort into trying to figure out what the fuck their last name is when it's just simple shit like Crawford. As that one is swung on, grabbed on by the second baseman, thrown over, got him out. And Nick Martinez gets out of it with only allowing one run. I'm settled with that. All right. As we head to the top of the seventh, the Reds are still down by, um, well, they're down by, by sit, the score of six to two now. Top of the seventh. Yeah, thank you guys for understanding. I swear, I'm so stupid sometimes. Guys, I think Ghost just dropped his uh, link to his channel. Guys, if you want to go check him out, he does make some very good content, very entering, interesting content. Just sub to Ghost. Thank you, Eric, for doing that. Gabe Spire is the one in there pitching now. He's appeared in six games. He has an 0-0 record, an ERA of 0.00. Jake Fraley is the first one up. Jake Fraley, he ripped it. It's gone. Bang, bang, bang. Jake Fraley gets the Reds on the board, baby. It's the first home run of the season for Jake Fraley. His fourth RBI distance was 354 feet, and it was 101 off the bat. Let's go, baby. Jake the Rake Fraley with a home run. Hey, Cincinnati, he's saying that. He's saying that because um, because of the content that he makes. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't even realize that I had my vape setting in front of the fucking... Um, in front of the shit so you guys couldn't even see me. As that one is swung on by De La Cruz and it hit the catcher and it looks like the catcher might be injured here hopefully he's okay let's see where did it catch him at ouch it hit him right in the leg like calf area 
And hopefully he's good here. Uh, they're checking on Corrali, and Buck Farmer is the one up, warming up for the Reds now in the bullpen. Yeah, I know, Eric. I, dude, I love Jake Fraley so much. That was a massive pickup for us. I think um, I think he was uh, part of the trade when we traded you guys Luis Castillo, wasn't he? Okay, it looks like he's going to stay out there, Eric, so nothing to worry about there. As that one is swung on, grabbed on by the shortstop, thrown over, De La Cruz. He is caught out. But the Reds might want to take a look at that one. De La Cruz is not going to put up any fight. He's already heading back to the dugout. That was a super close play. Oh, yeah, they got him by a half a step there. So never mind. <laughs> you love to see it. Thank you, Cincinnati, for doing that, by the way. All right, Candelario is up now. He is one for two on the evening. No balls, one strike. That one swung on Candelario. High fly. Caught on by the second baseman out there in center field. And that is two out. Nobody on. And a one in here for the Reds in the top of the seventh. All right, Nick Martini is up now. He's 0 for 2 on the evening with a strikeout and I believe a ground out as that one is just a nice pitch there. Uh, caught the left side, bottom of the plate. No balls, one strike. Come on, Nick Martini. That one is down in the dirt. One ball, one strike now. Good night, Ghost. Thank you, brother, for stopping in. Had a lot of fun with you being up here on the panel. That one is a high fly shot by Nick Martini, but it goes foul. And it's going to be one ball, two strikes now. All right, if the Reds are only going to score one per inning, man, it's going to be almost impossible for us to come back. That one is outside the zone, and it's going to be two balls, two strikes now. That one is in there for a strike, and Nick Martini just watched it. Why? Why would you just watch it, Nick Martini? All right, heading to the bottom of the seventh. The Reds do tack on another run. We're down by three now as it is six to three. The Seattle Mariners still lead it. Oh, okay. Got you, Eric. Keep grinding from one content creator to another. Just hit that like button. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. See, that's what I love when content creators come in here and they show me love and support like that. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, um, I don't know if this is going to fall in the Reds' favor tonight, but, I mean, well, that's just losing one game, especially with um, 
the um, Milwaukee Brewers losing. It's nothing too concerning. Um, hopefully, now hopefully the the Chicago Cubs lose. They're winning as of right now. Our last time I seen. So hopefully they lose because right now we're tied at the same record with the Chicago Cubs. All right, so the Reds are switching up pitching Nick Martinez or Nick Martinez. Sorry about that, guys. Nick Martinez, his night is over, and it is going to be Buck Farmer. Again, I'm fine with this. Buck Farmer is good. You guys are a young team, and it's a long season. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. 100%. So, hopefully... I'm just hoping by the end of the year, we're in position of making the playoffs and management doesn't find a way to fuck that up like they always do. As Rodriguez is up now, 0 for 2 on the evening. I want to swung on one ball, one strike to begin at the bottom of the seventh. Buck Farmer, he's appeared in six games. He has an 0-0 record, an ERA of 2.35. He has uh, 7.2 innings pitched, six uh, strikeouts, and three walks. That one is swung on, and he lined it in there. Three reds coming in, but he just shot it right in to center right field and dropped it in there to where nobody could get it. Nice hit there by Rodriguez. We're going to lose games, but we got to win series. Yeah, I agree with that, Cincinnati. As long as we win series... We should be fine, and, and we should make the playoffs pretty easily. And so far, we have done that. I think it said that coming into this series, we're four and one on the series on the series is that we've played in so far. As Polanco is up now, as they throw it over to Chuck on Rodriguez over there at first, he's back in there safely. One ball, no strikes to Polanco. Polanco is one for two on the evening. That one is outside the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes. Oh, damn. As they throw it over, that's three balls, no strikes. Come on, Buck. Come on, man. Buck Farmer is one of our better fucking relief pitchers in... He can't even throw a strike right now. That one. Ah, come on, man. All right, well, it's three balls, two strikes. Rodriguez still second base, but that was a really close play. It pulled De La Cruz off the bag. But he may have still made the swipe in time. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah, hell no. Yeah, hell no. Rodriguez got in there well before the tag even got to him. As that one is outside the zone. And that is a walk. Two on. Nobody out. And nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners in the bottom of the seventh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that if I said that. I meant walk. <laughs> As that one is outside the zone, that's one ball and no strikes. Hangler is back up and he's one for two in the evening. That one is also down in the dirt and that's two balls, no strikes. Come on, man.
Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah, you probably did. We have uh, two puppies. All right, as that is three balls, no strikes. Uh, okay, hang on, Rebecca. Henniger is up to bat, and it's three balls, no strikes. That one's in there for a strike throw, as it is now three to one. Three balls, one strike. That one is swung on. It gets through. You've got to be kidding me. How did how did you miss that? And I believe two more runs is in here. No, one more run. It's now seven to three. This game is pretty much over. Polanco's over at third now. Rodriguez comes around to score. And yeah, this is just not looking good for the Reds. Whoa, well, hold up. I know there's going to be no way that they can review it now, but what the hell? It looks like that went foul. Maybe they are going to review this. All right, Ty France is up now as he is one for three on the evening as that one is in there for a strike. As it snowballs, one strike. Ty France, he's one for three with a double back in the sits. Later came around to score. That one is swung on. Please do not tell me that that is a home run. Okay, it's not going to be a home run, but it is going to be another run scored as it's caught on out there in right field. I mean, left field, excuse me, by... Uh, Spencer Steer, but another run does come around. Polanco scores, and it's now eight to eight to three. This game is indefinitely over, man. The Reds have lost. Uh, on to tomorrow is all I gotta say. All right, Cal Cal Rock. Riley is up now as that one is in it for a strike. No balls, one strike. Yeah, honestly, I agree, Cincinnati. Uh, that's why I'm thinking this game is over, man. But, you know, like I said, it's on to tomorrow. The Pittsburgh Pirates lost, thank God. The uh, Milwaukee Brewers lost, which is massive. Okay, now all we need to know is, are the Chicago Cubs winning? That one is swung on. High fly it is. Caught on. And that might bring another run around. No, it's going to have to go back to second base. Two out, and they hold a runner there. I don't know why the hell I didn't put the first out. Sorry about that, guys. All right, two out, one on, and one in here for the Seattle Mariners. As Luke Re uh, Rayleigh is up now.
Okay, thank you, Eric, for keeping us updated on that game. Come on. <clears throat> that one gets down, and he missed the catch. You've actually got to be kidding me. He's in there. That is unreal. Yeah, this game's over. The Mariners are almost at 10 points. They, they It's 9-3, to three, two out, bottom of the seventh. Riley gets all the way over to third base, and the runner comes around from second. Will Benson try to die for it at third, at, out there in center field? Not able to grab it. That one is in there for a strike. As Colossae is up now, as he is one for three on the evening. That one is outside the zone. One ball, one strike. Looks like it's all over, but the crying. Yeah, Cincinnati, I agree, man. But like I said, on to tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we'll bounce back and grab a game. So, you know, uh, not this was not a great night for the Reds, to say the least. That one is swung on, and he missed it, I believe. Yes, he did. He missed it, and that's out number three, finally. But the Reds are down massive now. It's now 9-3, to three, heading into the top of the eighth. And the Reds need to score a shitload of runs in this inning to even get back into this game. Top of the eighth coming up. Not a good night for the Reds, but I had a blast in here. It was fun. Then Cincinnati. Yeah, I had a I had a good night hanging out with you guys as well. Got his first hit tonight. Yeah, he uh he did get a hit earlier. Eric, he did. Sure did. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks Cincinnati for saying that. I had a lot of fun hanging out with all you guys. Even Eric, man, you know, there's always a shitload of Cincinnati fans, but when you get really cool, non-aggressive, non-showing off um, fans of the other team, it's really nice to have them as well, you know, because – I know that uh, some fans of the other team that your team might be playing or, you know, they might talk shit to you like, oh, la, 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 you know, you you guys know what I'm talking about. So thank you, Eric, for being a really cool Seattle Mariner fan. We will be back tomorrow night as well, guys. So just remember that it was a massive, it was a mess from the beginning. Yeah, I agree, John. It was, it was, it started, this all started with our starting pitching, and then Nick Martinez came in, did his job, but the batters just couldn't get it done, man. And it sucks, and then we had to turn it over to Buck, and, you know, it's like I've been telling you, John, in Cincinnati and shit. It's like I've been telling you guys, Buck Farmer is really good or really bad. There's no in-between with Buck Farmer. There, There isn't in, in – you know, Buck Farmer is one of our better relief pitchers, but there is no in-between with him. It's either, as Miller's in now pitching for the Seattle Mariners, he's appeared in two games, that was an 0-0 record. But Buck Farmer is either really good or really bad, as that one is just a pop-out for Tyler Stevenson deep into left field there. One out, nobody on, and nobody in. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Yeah, thanks for being like that, brother. Yeah, I'm the same way. When the Reds, when the Reds are winning or blowing out a team or whatever, you know, I don't like to talk shit either because, you know, it, that's the thing about sports. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So you could talk shit 
tonight and then you know your team get absolutely handed one tomorrow you know type shit and all that like tonight's just not the reds night and you know i gotta fucking accept that it fucking sucks but you know it is what it is seattle you know this is this is a good thing for seattle because seattle needs to get back on track i think you guys are what eric sits and nine or something so th- this is a massive win for the um, Seattle Mariners. As that is a fly out to right field, two out, nobody on, and nobody in here. Update the Arizona, the Arizona Diamondbacks now up two to one. Let's go! Thank you, Eric, for keeping us updated with that game. Let's go, baby! I, as long as the Cubs lose, I am absolutely fine with the Reds losing here because. And that would mean that every single team in the division lost. And I am absolutely fine with that because that does not move us at all. I think we'll still be in like third or fourth place, wherever we're setting at now. All right. Well, Benson is up now. That one is swung up by Will Benson. He lined it in there to right field. Let's go, Will Benson. Will Benson around this second base. Nice hitting there, Will Benson. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a massive win for y'all, though, because now you'll be 7 and 10. All right, as the Christian and the Carson strand is in now, he's two for three on the evening. That one is outside the zone as Miller is up to eight pitches on the evening. One ball, no strikes. Christian and the Carson strand, two for three, two doubles with a run. That one is swung on. That one is grabbed on by the second baseman. He got him. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What a way to end the inning. Are you serious right now? That was dirty. Oh, my God, bro. He dove for that ball, got up, and still made the shot to get him out. What a play by the second baseman for the Mariners. All right, bottom of the eighth coming up, and the Reds get nothing there. It's still three to nine. Ah, uh, man. Actually, I think tomorrow on Wednesday should go your way. We haven't won a series yet this season. Yeah, I mean, I would agree with you, Eric, um, with you saying that. But, I mean, watch. It's the fucking Reds, man. I guarantee you we're going to find some way to fuck it up. And you guys will end up winning the series over us. I, I'm almost willing to put money on it. It's ridiculous. All right, we're out to 15 votes on the poll. The question was, who wins? And 73% of you guys said that the Reds were going to win to only 27% saying that the Mariners was going to win. And it seems like the people that said the Mariners are going to win it is going to be correct because we're heading to the bottom of the eighth and the Reds are still down a shitload of runs. And who knows, we might even give up more here. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, Cincinnati, and that's what and that's what I'm saying, man. That the same way that we are with our teams, like you just said, is how our pitching is. We're either we're either really good or really bad. All right, Buck Farmer is apparently going to ride this thing out. He is still out there as Rajay is back up now as he is 0 for 3 on the evening. One ball, one strike to him, bottom of the eighth. For anyone just joining us, as that one goes to the outside, and it's going to be two balls, one strike now. All 
I got to go to bed almost immediately after this game is over because I got fucking work in the morning. So, you know, that sucks. But, oh, well, three balls, one strike now. Is Buck Farmer really going to walk another person? That one is swung on. Massively hit. Roger, he missed it. Jake Fraley bangs off the wall in right field. And hopefully Jake Fraley is all right out there in right field. All right, he gets up like he's fine. Will Benson comes over to check on him. Jake Fraley did try to catch it there. But he just banged up against the wall. I got to work in the morning too, man. It sucks. Yeah, it does. It especially stinks when you stay up this late and the Reds come away with a damn loss. Ugh. <clears throat> All right. One ball, no strikes as Crawford is back up. He's 0 for 3 on the evening as that one is outside the zone. Two balls, no strikes now. Come on, Buck. Uh, what is going on with Buck Farmer tonight? That one is swung on, and it's hit foul. Two balls, one strike. Holy shit, okay. Damn. Yeah, see, Eric, the... I I don't even know the last time the Reds made the playoffs. All right, two balls, two strikes. That one is swung on, and J.P. Crawford is struck out. Let's go, baby. Nicely done there, Buck Farmer. That is one out. One on, and nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners. All right, as Rodriguez back up, he's two, he's one for three. That's a high fly shot caught on over there in right field by. Jake Fraley, but the runner will advance to third base. That's two out, one on, and nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners. All right, come on, man. We got to get this last out. If we want any hope at coming back, we cannot allow another run. This cannot go into double digits. B or F just a few years ago. Really, Cincinnati? Oh, yeah. I think we – did we make the playoffs in like 2012, 2013, something like that? Is that what you're talking about, Cincinnati? Because I think we did, and that was the last time we ever made the playoffs. Um, Eric, I am not saying B or F, sir. I said JP. <laughs> That one is outside, and it is in there for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Polanco up now. One for two on the evening. Runner up to third base. Two outs. And nobody in here for the Seattle Mariners in the bottom of the eighth. That one is way outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, man. Ha, ha, ha. 
Okay, I didn't know that. The playoffs. I'm hoping we make the playoffs again this season. That one is swung on and he missed it. And that is a one, two, three inning from Buck Farmer. I think this game is still over with for the Reds, but nonetheless, we can hope, baby, right? Top of the ninth coming up. The Reds are due up. Holy shit, are we good? It looks like the whole stream just collapsed there for a minute. Are we good, guys? Thank you very much, Eric. Yeah, I mean, oh, uh, shit. You know, I don't know. I got to be honest. These last two years are the most baseball I've ever watched in my life. Baseball is my second favorite sport, but outside of football, before I started calling Reds baseball games, I never really even watched baseball. I would keep up with the Reds every you know now and then or whatnot, but um, I was mainly an NFL guy, straight football, everything. Um, but yeah, these last two years, I've really enjoyed calling Reds baseball and getting to learn the sport of baseball more. So yeah, I would agree Cincinnati. It really does. You know, as long as our pitching can continue to get the job done. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Come on, man. Damn it. Yep, we good. Okay, thank you, Eric, for letting me know that. I just wanted to make sure because on my end, it looked like the whole entire stream just like froze there for a minute or whatnot. All right, here we go. Top of the ninth as Steer is in, and that one is straight down Broadway, and he just watches it. As that one is outside the zone, one ball, one strike now. I think our how it is played player is King Griffey Jr. And he deserved to be though, um, Cincinnati. He was he was a freaking monster for us. That one is caught a strike. Bro, we're in the bottom of the ninth. You cannot be calling shit like that, umpire. Bro, that was a 50-50 toss-up ball. All right, Jake Fraley's in now. Big hack, but he missed it. No balls, one strike. Wait, do they really sell those, Cincinnati? Oh, shit. Hold up. I might have to get me a pair of those, too. That one is in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, it just looks like the Reds have completely given up here. It looks like they're not going to even try to get back in this game. That one is down in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. <clears throat> Yeah. 
And um, Jake Fraley's out. Oh, my God. Yeah, this game's over for the Reds. Two out, nobody on, and nobody in here. In the top of the ninth, De La Cruz is our last hope. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a really that's that's crazy, Eric. That one is swung on outside the zone. Come on, De La Cruz. That's the one thing De La Cruz needs to work on is swinging out swinging at pitches outside the zone like that. That one is swung on hit foul. That one is swung on by De La Cruz outside the zone, and this game is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the Reds lose 9-3. to three. Guys, thank you to Eric. Thank you to Cincinnati for sticking around. I had so much fun talking to you guys. I will be back tomorrow night for game two of this three-game series. I unfortunately will not be here on Wednesday, though, because I do work, so... I hope you guys enjoyed the game tonight. If you did, make sure to hit it with a thumbs up if you haven't already. Until tomorrow night, I am out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Good night. Good night, Cincinnati. Enjoy the loss. Thanks, John. I didn't even know that you was in here still. Definitely gave deep problems. My guy left here. Good night, all. Good night, Eric. Thanks for sticking around, brother. Thanks, John, for sticking around as well. Hopefully, we bounce back tomorrow. Good night, everybody.